The amazing and talented Seth Bling is here to talk to us, and I hope that I can get all of his redstone secrets. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. This is a show that will teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. We are continuing our little interview series when I headed on down to Play On Con in Birmingham, Alabama, and this time we got a chance to talk to Seth Bling. Seth Bling is a huge YouTuber known for his redstone creations. He started making videos way back in 2011, and he specializes in amazing tutorials, really, really helpful MC edit filters, and of course, amazing maps like TNT Olympics, Tower Control, Seth Bling's Redstone Challenge, uh, Super Craft Brothers Brawl, Ghost Squadron, Minecraft, Team Fortress, Team TF2, uh, so much. So let's go ahead and talk to Seth Bling. <laughs> How are you doing, Seth Bling? How has the convention been treating you? It's been good. I just got done with a uh, little redstone lessons, and that was really fun. That was really amazing to see you come up with stuff right off the top of your head, and just any question you could answer. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't exactly coming up with stuff necessarily. It was more. I just have done a lot of stuff, and so I can uh, you just recall that when I need to. Very cool. Okay, so you've been doing videos for how long now? Um, no, a little over two years, I guess, yeah. And then, and how, did you, did you see Minecraft and decide, you know, that's something I need to make videos for immediately? How, how was your inception into finding the game? I actually, uh, yeah, I, my roommate showed me the game, I thought it was really cool. I played it for about a month and then I was like, oh, I'm, I'm done with this game. <laughs> uh, a few months later, I, I bought a new computer and I was like, well, I guess I gotta use this or something. Oh yeah, Minecraft, I'll go play some Minecraft. And I kind of got back into it and I got back, got into the tech technical community, redstone and that sort of stuff. And I love the other the videos that other people are making and I wanted to try it for myself. I bought fraps for $35 or whatever and I recorded a video and put it online and you know there were some people that liked it and I was like, well now I have fraps, I guess I better get my money's worth. So uh, from there I just kept putting out videos, people started subscribing which really shocked me. I didn't, I, I, when I was just starting I didn't know that, that people would actually subscribe to small channels like that. So that was a shock and from there it was just kind of a feedback loop. Very cool, very cool. So how do you find the inspiration for some of the bigger builds that you're doing nowadays? Uh, it varies wildly. <laughs> you know, a, a lot of the stuff I do is recreations of other games and so sometimes I'll just run through as many different other games or real life phenomena or just like children's toys as I can think of and say, can I do that in Minecraft? Like how would I how would I approach that? And sometimes I come up with something, sometimes I just really can't think of anything. Sometimes I'll think of something and then it doesn't actually work out. So it's uh, it's, it's kind of a fluid process. Cool. And then is, do you think that there's something like maybe in your history that has really helped you be able to understand the mechanics of Minecraft better than other people? Uh, well, part of it is just I've experimented with a lot of stuff. I just spent a lot of time in the game experimenting and, and reading uh, and watching other people's videos. But I, I do, you know, I, I went to school for computer science, uh, have a strong mathematical and, and computer science background, and then I, I, I was a programmer for three years at, at Microsoft. And so I, I do have a lot of experience with, with engineering in a digital context, I guess. And, and that does get applied in a lot of what I do. Cool. And at Microsoft, was that video game focused or just just programmer focused? Uh, it was not video game focused. I actually did work in the Xbox area for a while, but it wasn't. It didn't have anything to do with games. Cool, cool, cool. Well, um, let people know where they can find you if they want to see more of you. Where can they go? Uh, YouTube.com slash Seth Bling, I guess, is the best way. I also have Seth Bling .com, at Seth Bling on Twitter, uh, Facebook page, I don't know. But yeah, just my YouTube channel, you know, that's where all the videos are. That's Google cool. Seth Bling, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you Google Seth Bling, it'll be there. Actually, I think if you type S-E-T, maybe it's on YouTube, at least. I don't know. 
Very cool. Well, thank you so much for spending the time uh, for the interview and uh, have a great convention. Yeah, thanks. You too. Once again, thank you so much, Seth Bling, for spending the time to talk to us here at OMG Craft. Of course, you should head on over to youtube.com slash Seth Bling and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Awesome stuff. I am inspired every single time I go and watch his videos. Very, very great stuff. Make sure that you don't miss any of our future episodes as well. Head on over to twit.tv slash omgcraft and you can subscribe to our show in every format you po would possibly want, even audio. If you have some feedback or need something explained to you, make sure you send your mail to us at mail at omgcraft.com. Until next time, thank you so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. Bye!